When using the Gluco mobile app, you will start on the Home tab at the bottom of the screen. Here, you can find CGM or blood glucose values. You'll see that we have CGM. For that, we have a percentage reading for time in range, we have our average glucose reading, and also our highest and lowest values. You'll see that that is presented, in this case, alongside insulin, where we have the total average daily dose for our total insulin consumption, and also for basal and bolus. Depending on the devices you are using with your Gluco account, depends on the type of data that you will see here under the Home tab. You'll notice at the top of the tab, we can select different time periods to view data over a variety of different ranges of time. You can select between one week, two weeks, a month, or even three months worth of data. For CGM, we also have the option to click See More. Here, we have a summary of each week's performance and can see our improvements over time. By clicking History, we can see a summary of one day's activity at the top of the screen. By scrolling through the events below, we are able to see this graph update. And if we wish to view the graph in more detail, we can hover onto the graph and slide along the graph to view our blood glucose readings, or even the units of insulin if the devices we are using record this data. You'll notice in the top left, we also have the option to view this graph in landscape to get a better view of the data as it is being presented. If we were to click onto the next tab where we have trends, you can see our average CGM values over the period of time we've selected at the top of the screen. You can see, for instance, on the 24th of September, we had some high readings which show as an amber dot on the graph at the top. As we continue to scroll, you can see how our insulin intake varies and also our CGM daily overview, which in this case shows that the control was very good over this time period and we remained largely within our target range. If we click the add option in the middle of the toolbar at the bottom of the screen, we can add a range of events manually whether that be for HbA1c, blood pressure, exercise, food, insulin, medication, notes, or weight. For all of these events, we can document them manually and then discuss those entries later with our clinician during our next consultation. The notes feature is particularly useful if you want to document a specific event that was difficult to manage that you could then talk through in greater detail with your clinician during your next consultation. By clicking the final option on the tab at the bottom, we have more. You'll see we have several options where we can either view our profile, share reports, set reminders, or find out more about Gluco itself. We can also navigate through help to get additional support in using the Gluco mobile app. If we click profile, You'll see we have a range of information relating to this individual profile, and we're able to select the ProConnect code. Here, we can add the ProConnect code for the clinics that we would like to share our data with. We would simply click Add Code and enter the individual information required to share with the clinic that we would like to have access to our data. Next, we have Settings. On this tab, you will find the first option is Glucose Data Source. Here, we're able to change this from CGM to Blood Glucose. That will actually change the data that is visualized on the Home tab at the bottom. As you'll see here, when we select a time period that has data, in this case one month, we're able to see the Blood Glucose values presented alongside the values for pre and post meal tags. We can actually scroll across from pre or post meal tags to still view the insulin information available. By navigating back to settings within our profile, we can change this back. We can also change things such as the daily time in range parameters, the target range parameters, and even the meter units that are displayed within the app itself. 
We can also enable or disable push notifications if we would like to be notified of things such as reminders. These can also be activated within the More tab by selecting the Reminders option and clicking the plus sign in the top of the screen. Here you can select a variety of different reminders such as checking your blood sugar, taking insulin, medication or even creating custom reminders. And these can simply be toggled on or off depending on the use of those on any given day.